was uh, this guy. He claimed to be Abbas. Let's see what kind of Abbas he is. Maybe, maybe Abbas fought Bismillah. Wa alaikum as Who is with me? What? Who is talking to me? Yeah, it's me. That's Abbas. So I'm in prison myself. Abbas, I'm Abbas, Abbas. Barry. Yeah. yeah, Abbas Barry. So. All right, Abbas Barry. What do you want to say to us, my friend? We are live on air and we are questioning if Allah is God. What do you think? Okay, no, alhamdulillah, no problem. So what do you think? I'm just like, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Fine what? What 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 I'm thinking about what? What do you, you know, we are asking the Muslims how they believe that Allah is God. If there's any proof that Allah is God? Yeah, I just want to ask you a question. I thought you are going to answer my questions. What? I thought you are a Muslim and you can help us. Look like you do not know too. Yeah, I'm Muslim. Yeah, of course I'm Muslim. So do you know why Allah is God? Why He's God? Why Allah is God? Yeah. Yeah, because it's Allah is Him who created the people, Him who created the world. You gotta believe in Him because. How do you know that Allah created the world and He created the people? Where do you get this from? Because I get that from the Quran. But the Quran have no witnesses. I mean, in what? Islam, in Islam, if a man he, if a woman she cheat in her husband. You need four witnesses, right? Yeah. Okay, do Muhammad have four witnesses for the Quran? Yeah, hang up. Have you ever heard of such a stupid religion? We need four witnesses. If a woman cheat in her husband and they have to see his penis getting in and out. But we do not need a single witness for a person claiming that he's, you know, he received a, a, a book from his God. You need two witnesses if you borrow ten dollars. But they don't have one witness for Muhammad receiving Quran. How in the world this will work? <laughs> I mean, you have you need witnesses for silly stuff, but you don't have witnesses for something serious. <clears throat> Madness. No witnesses. A religion based in one guy. Nobody saw. Nobody heard. Nobody witnessed anything from him. How that work? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Who is with me? Um, my name is Muhammad. Muhammad, welcome, Muhammad. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing well, thank you. So you said to me in the chat, in Skype, you want to talk to me about Tawheed? Uh, yes. Okay, what Tawheed mean? Uh, for me, uh, one of the... I, I believe that one of the strongest things in Islam is the... The concepts of uh, Tawheed, you know, because it's what we are taught uh, since we were children. Yeah, but there's no Tawheed uh, in the Quran. Can you find the word Tawheed in the Quran? Ah, uh, uh, no, no, no. Sorry, I am. Um, I don't mean. Uh, I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm not focusing on the word. I mean the the concept of uh, that there is only one God. You know. Okay, if there is one God or ten God, who care? If the the truth that the question is. If this God is exists or not? Yes, of course. Okay, there's there you know there's people they worship Shaitan and Shaitan is one Shaitan. So is that mean he's God? Uh, no. Uh, okay. Yes, you're right. No. Yeah. So one or two or five, who care? The question is if he is a true God or not. So how you can help me to accept that Allah is one God or two God or three God? Who care if he is a true God? How you can help us, Mr. Muhammad? Uh, I mean that we are brought up with this idea that in comparison to other religions, uh, yeah. Islam is the only religion that, uh, um, with with uh, with Judaism, I think that it's one of the only religion that says that there is only one God. Okay, you, you first know? of all, first of all, you don't have one God, and we can prove it so easy. But we can go for that later. Have you ever heard of a religion 
that God he sent Quran to the animals? Uh, no. Okay, read for me chapter 6, verse number 38. Chapter 6 is called the chapter of An'am, which means the chapter of the animals. There's not an animal that yeah. lives on earth, nor being that flees with wood wings, but a form of community, and nothing we have omitted of the book, from the book. Okay, so all animals in Islam, they are Muslims, and they worship Allah, and they believe in Allah. And Allah will judge between them. Ah, uh, yes, yes, Allah, of course. Yes, and yes, Allah yes, will judge between them in the judgment day. Okay, let me ask you then. So you agree animals are Muslims? Uh, I believe that... Uh, uh, I, I, I think that every... Uh, uh, we are told that every living sentient being and even uh, rocks, uh, they respect God and they pray to God. Okay, so do pigs worship Allah? Do pigs worship Allah? Uh, yeah. Yes. So what the problem? Why do you think pigs are dirty then? Dirty, dirty. I, I don't think that we have to disrespect pigs. Uh, it's just that we can't eat them, uh -huh. I think. So what about the black dog? Is black dog, he worship Allah too? Uh, yeah, yes. But, uh, but uh, Muhammad, he said the, the black dog is shaitan. The black dog is shaitan. Hmm. Uh, maybe the shaitan uh, uses the black dog, but the black dog is innocent. What do you mean by he uses? What does that mean? Uh, he he controls the black dog. He, he, maybe. Do, you, do you think he bewitched the black dog? Bewitch, you mean? Control him like by magic? No, maybe he put his mark on, on him or something like that. He put his what? Uh, a mark, mark of Satan or something like that. So, like, he make him bewitched, you mean? Bewitched? Uh, no, 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 because it's an animal. Uh, I don't think uh, uh, the, uh, the animals don't have a, a high, uh, strong intelligence. It may be just that it's, uh, uh, maybe that the dog brings bad uh, omens, you know? Maybe it's just like that. How, how a dog he bring bad omen? How does that work for you? S sorry, I didn't hear you. How how the dog bring bad omen? How the dog bring bad omen? Mm. Uh, because I think uh, that uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how it brings bad omen. I don't mm. know. Is it true that your prophet he says that women and horse uh, and dogs they bring bad the omen? Uh, yes, uh, I, 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 I read that. Uh, okay, how? I, how, I don't know. I, I, how, can't, uh, how, I, can't, I can't defend uh, okay, that. Okay, a second I ago don't... you told me that the, Muslim, the, the animals are Muslims. And you told me that uh, all animals, they worship Allah. And now we have women yes. uh, and, uh, and the dogs and the horses. All of those, they are bad omen. And even, uh, you know, obviously they are dirty. Obviously, they are dirty. Uh, wh why not? Not necessarily dirty. Not necessarily. Hmm. So you know, let, let us, me and you, to come to a conclusion. So the animals are Muslims, and uh, the rocks even they worship Allah, correct? Uh, yes. Have yes. you ever heard of somebody speak to rocks and rocks speak to him? Uh, yes, I know the hadith you're talking about. That the rock told the the salam to to the prophet. I okay, think. so there's a uh, Muhammad. He speak to rocks, and rocks speak to him. Uh, yes. Hmm. How 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 Muhammad he understand the rocks and hear the rocks, but nobody can hear them. But nobody. Uh, be, be, because he's a prophet, I mean, it's not. I don't think that it's a. Uh, it's a very bad uh, thing. It's uh, it's the it's uh, that crazy. I don't think that uh, it's necessarily a bad thing. Because if he's a prophet, he can. He can sense uh, other things that normal people cannot l l logically. But do, but, in, uh, do, but do we believe that rocks? They have a brain and they have a tongue and they can talk. Uh, no, of course. Maybe it's just uh, spiritually or something like that. Maybe. So no, so, no, they don't. So how don't he how he salute him if it is a special word? He said assalamu alaikum. Yes. Okay, this is not spiritual. Word. How the, how the stone is talking to Muhammad saying assalamu alaikum, and only Muhammad he can hear the stone. 
Don't you think this is a mental issue? A mental issue. Uh, I, you, you know, I, I'm just, uh, I'm just saying that if, if, if there is uh, magic involved, uh, our logical thinking cannot apply. You know what I mean? Oh, this is magic. You maybe think. I'm just saying maybe. Huh? Sorry. So you think you think this is a magic? You are. No, I mean uh, the the. Not magic uh, sorcery, uh, the the magic of God, the power of God. Maybe be, because was, maybe it's was your it's prophet an... and the sor or sorcery controlled by sorcery? Uh, was the prophet controlled by sorcery? I I. Uh, uh, it, it, it's true that the the story about uh, the satanic verses is uh, is uh, is uh, is uh, is. Uh, is uh, it's true that it's not. Uh, it shouldn't have happened, but maybe. Uh, the story about the satanic verses is. Uh, I I I sincerely believe that God shouldn't have let that happen, even if He had a plan, because. Uh, he he should he should uh, have he should have. Um, because he would know that the people would would doubt the prophet if he if th something like that would happen. It does not benefit uh, the the people. You know mm. what I mean. So so what do you think? Do you think that this is when Muhammad he spoke to? As you said, I agree with you. When Muhammad he spoke uh, satanic verses that make him a prophet of Satan, correct? A prophet of Satan. Yeah. If I speak, uh, if I say to you yes. what Satan says to me, claiming it's from God. Well, obviously, that made me satanic messenger. Obviously, yeah, yes, but only uh, temporarily because it was Doesn't the matter. plan of God. But no, hold on. You see, what the plan of God? What can? Why? Why God want to do that? I mean, this is stupid. So Allah, He will make uh, Satan speak Quran, put it in the mouth of Muhammad. Muhammad did not notice. Muslim did not notice. The kuffar did not notice. All of them they worship the pagan, the three daughters of Allah. Muhammad, he go to house a day or two or three after, and Judge Jibril come to him and he said to him, "What you did? This is satanic verses." So, if first of all here you notice that Muhammad he claimed nobody can make Quran like like the Quran, correct? Nobody, uh, yes. Okay, so how how Muhammad himself received Quran from Shaitan and he did not recognize that this is not Quran. If nobody can make Quran like Allah. But, but but you know maybe it's just that the prophet uh, he's just uh, uh, a a way to give a message. Uh, maybe we should not judge him uh, harshly. You know what I mean? Our because we are not judging the, harshly. We are, ju we are not judging so, harshly. We are asking question. If I am a messenger from God, and then God did not, you know, he or he claim. That nobody can make Quran like my Quran. Then Muhammad received Quran, not the Quran, and that he think he it is the Quran, and then he said that Quran, which is not a Quran. So this is a contradiction for the Quran, because if nobody can make Quran like the Quran of Allah, and then Muhammad received Quran from Shaitan, and neither Muhammad, neither the believers, neither the kuffar, they notice that this is not from Allah. That means the Shaitan can make Quran too. And now, Muhammad he yes. come with a solution saying, "Well, don't don't worry." Allah, he said, Allah will take all the Quran coming from Shaitan and he will delete, correct? Yes. How we know that yes. this is, is not from Shaitan too? How do we know that this is not from Shaitan too? Yeah. But what, why would it be from, from Shaitan? It's, well, if, if shaitan to, to make you feel comfortable, because now you are worried that Shaitan is putting words in the mouth of Muhammad and we do not notice. Maybe this verse itself is from Shaitan, so he will tell you, don't worry about what uh, Muhammad uh, received from Shaitan, because whatever he received, we will take it away. But, but, we, but we should assume that uh, it's, it's really God that corrected it, because uh, let's say that uh, apart from that error, all, uh, all of the rest of the Quran is from God, so we should believe it logically, I think. You know, I like it when you say logically. What the word logically mean? I'm sorry, I don't mean. <laughs> uh, 
logically. Mm. Uh, I, I mean that if 99.9999% of the Quran was from God, and then uh, a false verse came from Shaitan, and mm. then God corrected it, we, we mm. should go to the side of God. You know what I mean? Okay, where is the where, where in the Quran it says which verses Allah he corrected? How we will know now which verses? Uh, the, the one from uh, the one that talks about a let and uh, how we know how we know which one well, how we know that this is the one maybe there's more but shaitan he said only one he, he stopped he give up uh, yes it... no uh... i i thought that this was the only uh, situation where uh, where uh, where there was a satanic uh, verse but, you know, you see, if Allah want to take a verse which is sent by shaitan, why Allah did yes. not stop the verse before it come to mouth of Muhammad? If you don't want... Ah, uh, yes, I agree, I agree with you, 100%. Mm. But I think that uh, there, there, is, there was a plan from God, maybe, you know, but okay. I don't know what <clears throat> the plan is. Okay, I will go with you. So Allah, he have a plan. Is it true that Allah is the one who sent shaitan to deceive the Prophet? Is uh, uh, yes, maybe because he has a plan. Maybe. Ah, uh, so Shaitan he worked for Allah. Shaitan he works for Allah. Oh. Uh, uh, Shaitan he works for Allah. Works. Uh, no, uh, he can he can be uh, ordered from Allah. Okay, so this is make him work for Allah because he receive order from the boss, not from someone you don't obey. Correct. Uh, no, uh, I think that everything except Allah works for Allah because He created everything, and and uh, maybe Allah, it's just uh, so Allah don't work for Allah. So Allah don't work for Allah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't understand. Sorry, I don't understand. I will, I will I will leave this question for later. Give me five minutes, and we will we, so we can understand. Read with me in chapter six, verse number one twelve. It says, "We made for every messenger an enemy." Evil ones from the from the genie and the, from the from the from the from the shaitans of a human and jinn from the word shaitan. Okay, so who is the one who made the shaitan an enemy for the messengers? Allah, correct? Uh, sorry, please repeat the question, please. Allah in the Quran supposedly he said, "We made for every messenger enemies from the shaitan." Okay. Okay, who is, so when shaitan became an enemy to the messengers, who is the one who sent the shaitan? Allah. Yes, yes. Why? Why he do that? Uh, maybe because uh, because he has a plan. Uh, it's like he, he has written uh, uh, the, the, the destiny, you know, uh, mm -hmm. everything. He, yeah, he but, planned everything. As long as long it's a destiny, so what the point of sending things, if it's a destiny, is going to happen anyway. You do not need to do uh, okay. No. So you know uh, you, you, you just mentioned you, something very important. Destiny. What destiny mean? What destiny mean? I, I understand that the concept in Christianity uh, and in Islam of destiny is not the same. Uh, okay, but I'm saying now, is it destiny for Shaitan to be Shaitan? Uh, is it destiny for Shaitan to be Shaitan? Uh, yes. Yes, okay. I think so. So Shaitan is a good guy then. Shaitan is a good guy. Uh, no, you know what I think? I think that God knows the future. He, he, he doesn't... No, uh... no, read with me. Chapter 7, verse number 16. Iblis, he said, because you have sent me astray, because you deceived me, surely I will set against them, the human, and I will, you know, and, and I will de deceive them too. So the first one who was deceived is Shaitan. Who the one deceived him? Allah. This is Quran, chapter 7, verse 16. Uh... But why uh, Allah uh, Allah uh, gave an order to Shaitan and he didn't uh, follow the the orders of yeah, Allah. Allah never to... gave an order to Shaitan. Show me. If you show me where Allah gave the order to Shaitan to do something, I'm going to shave my 25 meter uh, beard. Uh, sorry, <laughs> so, yeah. sorry. I, I'm not I'm not an expert. I, I'm telling you. Um, uh, you know, in North Africa, we, we are not uh, we. Uh, we follow Islam. Um, we follow Islam by, with our hearts. You know, it's, um, I don't know if it's the same in the Middle East. I think that in North Africa, it's not the same. 
philosophy about religion. A friend who cares about North Africa, South Africa, you know, I did not introduce myself to you. I am a black, blonde African American from Japan. Who care? I'm asking you now. You said Allah, He ordered Shaitan. I said to you, if you can show me where Allah He ordered Shaitan to bow down to Adam, I will shave my 26 meter beard in front of you. I will go on my camera right now, and I will show you shaving my beard. Right now, my beard is out of the door of the room. So, uh, I'm so uh, the story that we that we that we were uh, taught is that uh, is that Allah ordered Shaitan to bow down to Adam. Where are you? Why, he, uh, there's I, nowhere in the Quran. I just I made a, a friendly challenge to you, my friend. Please show me where in the Quran Allah He ordered Shaitan to uh, to bow down to Adam. I'm sorry. I'm 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 not an expert on that, but it is the the story that uh, that uh, all Muslims know. This story. That's why. So all Muslims know the story except you. Sorry. All the Muslims they knew the story except you. Except me. Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I mean that uh, we we are um, we are moderate uh, Muslims. That's what I mean. You know, it's. Um, I didn't say it negatively. No problem. I will early. go with you. I will go with you. In chapter two, verse number thirty, speaking about the story, uh, uh, Allah He said to the angels, "I am going to create a creature to, to inherit the earth, whatever." And then they said to Him, "Are you going to do create someone who will do mischievement and blood in the earth?" And, yes. and then Allah He said, uh, He said to them, "I know what you know not." Do you agree with this story that Allah He said to the angels, I know what you know not? Yes, yes. Okay. Then Allah He taught Adam all the names, and then He placed those things in the front of the angels and He told them, Tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. Do you agree with the statement of Allah saying, Tell me those names if you are truthful? Uh, Allah told Adam to tell him the names back. No. Allah taught Adam the names, like he put in front of him zucchini, potato, tomato. He taught him those names. So then, okay. Allah, he said, he put the tomato, potato, uh, zucchini in front of the angels. He asked the angels, what is this? They did not recognize. He put zucchini, they could not recognize that what zucchini is. So the angels, they failed. And uh, Allah, he said to them, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. So do you agree with the sentence of Allah saying, tell me the name of those things if you are truthful, uh, if it's written in the, the Quran, yes, uh, yes, I agree. But this is mean Allah, He accused the angels to be a bunch of liars. Uh, no, he, he accused them of being ignorant. But He, he said the word truthful. Truthful, uh, yes. He did not say if you are not ignorant. He says, Tell me the name of those things in Kuntum Sadiqeen. And if you are from North Africa, Morocco, Algeria, whatever. You know, you, you should know a little bit of Arabic. In Kuntum Sadiqeen, correct? So, does it say that yes, in Arabic? Yes, yes, Okay, here we yes. go. And be only be asma'i ula in Kuntum Sadiqeen. So, in Kuntum Sadiqeen, tell me the names of those things. They, they are, you know, so, if you are truthful, that means Allah, he accused his angels to be not a truthful, correct? He accused, uh, 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 he, he is talking to the angels. I'm sorry, I am believing you because I'm on mobile. No, no, my friend, you, you, you did not need to believe in me. I'm giving you the chapter. I'm putting it in the screen. You can read it. So, you know, I'm sharing with you. And you can read and uh, you can search in Google when you are, if you are using your phone. Yes, yes. So chapter two, chapter two, my friend, chapter two, verse number 31. Allah, he says, tell me the name of those things if you are truthful. So in your religion, the angels of Allah, they are a bunch of liars. Maybe not in general, just in that case. No, he spoke to uh, all of them. Not, 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 there's no exception. He said to the angels. Uh, yes, yes. Um, no, I don't mean all the. Uh, I mean not, uh, not all the time. The, the, they don't speak the truth. Maybe so for that. So the angels of Allah. Sometimes they lie. Sometimes they tell the truth in Islam. Sometimes they are liars. Sometimes they are not. No, no. Maybe because uh, they want to. Uh, they don't want Allah uh, to uh, create uh, something that will do. But this is bad not our. Things. This is not our topic. Allah is saying to them, "Tell me the name of those things if you are truthful." So they are not truthful. They fail. They could not tell. The quiz Allah is giving, the exam Allah is giving is, if you know those things, that means you are truthful. So whatever they said, it was a lie, according to Allah. Correct. 
uh, yes, yes. But that's many Muslims, you receive your Quran from a bunch of liars. Who is the one who brought the Quran to Muhammad? A liar. It's, it's, it's Jibril. But he's a liar. He's a liar. Uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe not always. Maybe it was in the con. Uh, they don't mean uh, in the moment when he created Adam. You know, because they didn't oh, so, like. Uh, so when Hebrew Allah God. created Adam, Jibril was a liar, and then Jibril maybe he repent. He went to the Hajj. He kissed the black stone. He became a good Muslim. I, I understand. Uh, I, I understand what you mean. I uh, I, I wanted to tell you that. Uh, uh, the, the 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 main thing that uh, we Muslim um, uh, uh, keep us believing in Islam and uh, it's it's the the fact that there is only one God. You know, uh, there is only one God. My friend, who care? Your God, Allah Himself, and His team—they are a bunch of ignorant. Because look what happened: the angels, they are the one who said that Adam will do mischievement, correct? Yes, yes. Okay, so why Allah is upset from shaitan for not bowing down? Shaitan is not an angel. Uh, yes, he was a jinn. Uh, so I ordered the cat to say meow, and then because the dog, he did not say meow, I get upset from the dog. But the dog is not a cat. So when Allah, he is talking to the angels, and the angels is the one who disobey Allah, or questioning Allah, and Allah get upset from the angels. So why he is upset from, the, from shaitan? If Allah, he said to the angels, bow down to Adam, and then Shaitan, who is a genie, did not bow down. So why is he upset from Shaitan? He did not even order him. Uh, uh, no, uh, he, he uh, uh, I see. That's why you told me earlier that there is, that, the, that he did not order Shaitan. Exactly, okay. Shaitan, uh, Shaitan, uh, Shaitan, uh, Shaitan is a victim of your God. Your God is, is mental. You know, Shaitan, he did not do anything. He had nothing wrong to, he had nothing to do with this fight. Shait, uh, Allah is arguing with the angels. The angels is the one who accused Adam. Allah is, you know, is punishing the angels uh, for, for doing I wrong. So why he is ups upset from Shaitan? And he did not order have, Shaitan to put down. I, I understand. It would have worked if the, uh, if the Shaitan was an angel. Uh, yeah, it would if, have Shaitan, he, if Shaitan was an angel, according, you know, according to Christianity, Shaitan, he was an angel. Here, no. Shaitan was one of the yes. genie. So he's from different kind. He's not even from the same kind. So yes, the, yes. he argued with angels. He fought with angels. Angels is the one that's obey him or the angels who is the one accused Adam of doing wrong. So why he's upset from shaitan and why he's, he did not even order shaitan to bow down. So the story is just stupid. Same time, my friend. Uh, I understand what you mean. I, I understand perfectly. But, but maybe uh, he ordered all the, the people, not the people, all the beings that were pre that present will, there. That, that would work if he did not say, we we said to the angels, do you see it? It says, and when we say uh, to the angels, he did not say to all. If he say, everybody okay. bow down to Adam, I say, okay, whoever there. But he said, the Quran says, we say to the angels, prostrate yourself before okay. Adam. Secondly, okay. you Muslims, you claim that Allah is against you to prostrate to anyone except him. But turn to be that the yeah. first one who commits shirk and teach shirk is Allah. He is associating the bowing down with the man from the beginning of the time. So if you as a Muslim, you say it's wrong to bow down to a king, we should bow down only to Allah. Well, Allah himself, yes. he is ordering even the angels to bow down to Adam. And not only that. Adam later he was kicked out from heaven just a few a few two meter after you know two verses after Adam was kicked yes. out from heaven so the angels were right and they were not wrong and Allah was wrong so Adam this mischievement he was kicked out his children this mischievement they were kicked out all of them they are a bunch of uh, uh, sinner and they were kicked out so why the angels are wrong and they are not truthful Allah is a stupid because if Allah he knew the future as you said to me when you called me then he should know yes. what angels would, what, what Adam will do. But Allah, he accused the angels. Yes, he knows. No, he did not. Because the proof of that, the angels, they say he will do mischievement. Allah, he said to them, I know what you know not. And then he told the angels. Yes, he, he, didn't, he didn't tell them that he will not do. He, he, no, it's, it's no, like he told no, them that no, he, he said, plan. no, he said he will not do. By, by saying what? When, he, when they said that to him, he says, I know what you know not. And then he continue. And now he want to tell them that they do not know. He want to tell them, he want to show them that they do not know the future. What he did, he told the names 
And now he asks him, tell me the names of those things, but this is stupid to prove that he is God. But here he is trying supposedly to prove that they do not know the unseen because they are, they are talking about the unseen, which is the future of Adam. So tell me the names of those things. They said, well, Allah, we do not know except what you taught us. And he said to them, if you ah, are yes, truthful. Yes, there is no relation between the first one and the second one. No, That's there is a relation. No, there is a relationship. The relationship is the angels accuse Adam. Allah don't agree with them that Adam will do that. That's why he says to them, I know what you know not. And then he told them, I will tell okay, I told the names. Well, if you are truthful about Adam, you see, you see what it says if you are truthful. You see what it says? Uh, okay. okay. If so you are truthful, if you are about, truthful we'll go back to who? Yeah, we'll go back about Adam, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. If you are truthful so, about Adam, it will be exactly. bad. Uh, we do. Wonderful, my okay. brother. So now Allah is saying to, uh, to, the, to, to the angels, if you are truthful about what you said about Adam, which means if you know what he will do really, well, tell me the names. So now Allah, he proved to them that they do not know anything. And now it's time for the penalty. He said to them, bow down because you accuse Adam of something he would do and he will not do. But then, two line after, we will find that Adam, he commits a sin and Allah, he kicked him out and Shaitan from the heaven. And the funny actually, Allah, he kicked Shaitan even before he speak to Adam from heaven. How Shaitan, he come back to the heaven? Because when Shaitan, he refused to bow down, Allah, he said to him, get out of here. Yes, he banished him. Yes. Okay, so how Shaitan come back? How Shaitan come back? Maybe, maybe he did, he just talked to God from far away. Maybe he did not come back to what far away? To, I mean, to, my friend, this is the heaven of Allah. Nobody can enter the heaven of Allah without permission of Allah. Yes, yes, of course. Okay, so Allah he kicked out Shaitan from heaven. How Shaitan he come back to heaven to whisper to Adam and Eve? Because because when yes, Allah yes because the Garden of Eden is 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 is, is uh, yes it's in the Jannah yes I understand yeah so, so we could not have stayed there okay so, yeah so when Allah when Allah he kicked Adam uh, uh, sorry uh, kicked the Shaitan out of heaven uh, and already Shaitan is out then we need to ask who is the one who wrote this stupid story this is can't be from God this is stupid. Uh, I understand what you mean. So that means that in Christianity, uh, the the Garden of Eden was not in paradise. Is that right? Well, in in yeah, in Christianity, the garden the garden is a garden. It's not uh, it's not in the sky. It's in the earth. But this is not our question okay. now. The 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 paradise of Adam is in heaven, according to Islam, is in the sky. But this is not our topic yes. now. The question is, okay. Allah he kicked Shaitan. Uh, out of heaven yes how he get back how he get back uh, i think that there was a pact between uh, allah i mean not a pact uh uh, uh that, that shaitan told to allah that i will prove to you that your people will follow me maybe from then on god authorized shaitan but he to is do or, no but you see already no problem uh, tell your people, but this is after Shaitan was kicked out and after Adam was kicked out too. But if you read the Quran, my friend, the verse in front of us, chapter 7, verse number 18. So Allah, he says, huh? He said to Iblis, get out of here, get down. Yes. You are expelled with the disgrace from the paradise. All right? Yes. Now, after that, verse number 19, Allah, he said to Adam, you, Adam, and your wife, go to heaven, enjoy it. Do you see it? Uh, so verse 18, Allah, he, you know, Allah, he ordered the, the shaitan to get out. Verse 19, Allah said to Adam, hey, Adam, go have fun in the heaven. So now shaitan is already out. So then we find that in verse number 20, shaitan, he whispered to them, but shaitan is out. <laughs> Yes, he is out. Uh, so, yes. So how he whispers for them? So how he whispers for them? Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. 
This the I will tell you how. You know the one who wrote the story is stupid. There is no logic there. And at the same time, I want to prove to you, Muhammad, that I am I am God. Shouldn't you ask ask the opposite as an example? If I have a dog and I call him Fufu, and then I say to yes. you, what is the name of my dog? You say I do not know. And then I say Fufu. Is that to prove that I'm God? No. Okay, but this is Allah what He did. He gave name yes, for the things. He gave name for the things, and he said to them, "Tell yeah. me the names." He should do the opposite. He should tell them, "You name them. You name those things. Don't tell me." And now ask yes. me the names, right? That will prove that he is know, special. He doesn't have to prove to them. They know that he is God already. Well, obviously he's he not God. Have... Obviously he is not God because what he did is stupid. If I call my 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 dog Juju or Fufu. And, you, and I said to you, if you cannot tell me uh, the name of my dog, that's mean you're untruthful. That's stupid. I understand what you mean, but 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 you know, uh, I wanted to tell you that uh, the, these things uh, the, they don't uh, they they don't uh, change uh, what we believe. You know what I mean? I, I don't believe. I don't mean that in a in a negative way. I mean my friend, that I um, understand. This is not what this. What I'm trying to say to you, if this is Quran is coming from God, the Quran should be smart. Because God is a smart, he's not stupid. Do we agree? Of course, of okay, course. Okay, but this is stupid. Because even the story is not coming in the right order. Shaitan is kicked out for no reason because he is not the one who accused Adam anyway. Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down. He did not say angel and shaitan, angel and genie, bow down. Why is upset? So all the story does not make sense. And this is cannot be from God. I understand, but you know what? Uh, what we believe is that even even if it don't it do, if in, even if it doesn't make sense, uh, it's uh, for for us. Uh, it's not about making sense. It's not about making sense. It's uh, it's about being stupid. This is not about making sense. There's many things, you know, in in believe they don't make like they say. Uh, we call them miracle. As an example, why Mary she is a virgin? Why Mary she is a virgin? Yeah, what 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 is, uh, what is the sense of that? What 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 is the purpose? You don't know as a Muslim. Why well, you copy that from the, the Bible? You know the the Christian the same Mary was ever. There's meaning in the Bible because uh, Jesus is the Son of God in exactly. the Bible. Exactly, but why. it doesn't make sense in Islam. Yes, it doesn't make sense in Islam. Mary is a virgin. Why? But but it could be just a miracle because miracles don't well, make sense. Uh, no, but you see. This is, can be a miracle if the uh, God don't do miracle for a short time, especially this miracle because nobody can prove it. I can say my mother she was a virgin. Your mother, with my respect to her, she can say she was a virgin when she gave birth to you. Correct? Nobody can prove it. Yeah. So there's no point. Of miracles, miracles when they happen, supposedly to show the ability of God of doing things. But this kind of miracle, nobody can prove it. Nobody can disapprove it because nobody saw what happened to this woman in her private life. Any woman, she can say that. So, what's the point? What's the point of this? Nothing except that this born person is a special person, very special, not like any mankind. Of this course, of course. So but that will make course. that will make sense in Christianity, but in Islam, does not make sense. But this is not our you know, topic. I agree, I agree that that that, G, that Jesus was more powerful uh, th than Muhammad. I agree. Uh, My that friend, it doesn't Jesus, even... Jesus is powerful. Muhammad and his God are in this ability. You know, uh, let, 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 let us, let us, uh, uh, Muhammad, I want to have a, I want to have, you know, you're a nice guy and I'm trying to inspire how you think about your God. When you say, uh, uh, Jesus is more powerful than Muhammad. Well, don't you Muslim think that Muhammad supposedly is have the same God as Jesus? Yes. Yes, of course. So why Jesus have, is more powerful than Muhammad? What happened? What, uh, what happened? uh what happened uh, we we believe that jesus uh, ne he never said that he was uh, god or the son of god he was just a, a nice a nice prophet a very uh, good prophet and uh, the people misunderstood him and that's why there was the need for another prophet this is another you know, question this is another question listen carefully uh, my friend my muhammad listen carefully you said that jesus is more powerful than muhammad correct Yes, of course. Why he have more power than Muhammad? If they have the same God. Uh, but but you know th there was another prophet that was extremely powerful. Uh, it, it 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 was Solomon, I think. 
he he could control many things. No. Solomon, Solomon. But he could control the wind. I no, think. but he cannot raise death. He cannot uh, resurrect people from death. He cannot make the blind see. He cannot. He have an army. Yes. He have a flying carpet, which is stupid. It's a story. Muhammad he took it from the fictions of the Jews. Uh, of, uh, but he he have a ring. He controlled the genie, which is very stupid. But he can do miracles. Yeah, zero. Why, 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 why do you why 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 is controlling the genie stupid? Uh, I think it's a very powerful. Okay, let us power. talk about controlling the genie. Controlling the genie. So Suleiman he controlled the genie. Muhammad he was controlled by a genie. How that work for you? Yeah, uh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I think I heard that somewhere, but I don't know if it's uh, in, in Sahih Muslim or Bukhari. I I'm, I don't. I, um, So what if it's Sahih Muslim? It's you accept it. If it's not Sahih Muslim and Bukhari don't accept it, you mean? And uh, I'm sorry. I I will tell you things that they that they may seem stupid. I just want to tell you how it works for us in North Africa. Please please believe me. I'm not no, lying. My I friend, just want I'm you not against you. I'm trying to go with you. But how Suleiman? You are the one who mentioned Suleiman. How Suleiman? He controlled the genie. Yet Muhammad was controlled by the genie, controlled by Shaitan. How that work? I mean, what's wrong with this Muhammad? Everything. So, not only now what we are noticing that everything wrong about Muhammad, while Suleiman controlled the genie, genie controlled Muhammad. Genie, genie controlled Muhammad. Yeah. Yes, but he, because this not is as this is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim. It says here, there's none among you who whom attached to a genie, a devil, shaitan, the companion. They say to him, you too, with you too, prophet. He says, yes. But Allah helped me against him, and I am safe from his hands, and he command me but to do what but for good. Do you agree that Muhammad received command from Shaitan? Yeah, I I think I remember this one. And uh it's since since God programmed that that Shaitan, it means it's just from from God. I don't see the problem. I, I really so don't see you, the problem. So why you call him Shaitan then? Why you don't call him an angel? How he is a shaitan program from God? So who is the real shaitan now? The real shaitan is Allah. So Allah, he sent shaitan program from him to Muhammad. What what kind of a silly game this game is? So what is shaitan? Shaitan is a program shaitan sent by Allah to deceive us. What a joke. So now we know. Yes, yes, I understand. You said you said the word silly, uh, and I understand a hundred percent what you mean. That it's silly. Why, why is it this complicated? Why isn't he? No, why it's not isn't complicated. It's, it's not complicated. No. It's very simple, but it's very stupid because the the point is supposedly that Allah He created us uh, so uh, to guide and, and He wanted to guide us, not to deceive us, but obviously by saying that Allah is the one sending Shaitan to deceive us. Well, he is the true shaitan. Shaitan is just an employee for Allah. So now we are, according to Islam, according to you Muslims, we are just a game for Allah. Allah is playing with us. Yes, of course. Okay, so why you? Why, what of course? This God is evil. Then he's shaitan himself, because a true God should not do that. A true God should not do. Uh, uh, I, I believe. Uh, you know. Uh, I believe that God has wrote all the possibilities and he knows all the possibilities and we just choose one of the possibilities that he wrote for us. You know what I mean? My friend, there's nothing that's called possibility because destiny have zero possibility. It's what he wrote for you will happen to you. Secondly, obviously this God is a stupid and he is sick. You're a prophet, he says. If you don't, I swear by Allah, if you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you and bring people, replace you, and bring people who commit sin and ask for forgiveness. You know this hadith? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So yes. why this God, what's wrong with him? Why if I did not commit sin, he would destroy me? Uh, why if he did not commit sin, he would destroy be, 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 Because he, he wants... Uh, be, because he wants uh, he he wants to judge us. What judge us? Uh, if we, if we did not commit sin, uh, my friend, listen. So you are saying to me that if you have a child and your son is very good, he obey you, you will kill him. Yes. <laughs> Does that sound? Oh. 
sound uh, healthy or satanic? Uh, of of uh, no, of of course, of course, it's not it's not a good thing. Of course, it's satanic. No, no, because because if God wants Muhammad, no, to be do honest without... with me, be honest with me, uh, honest, Muhammad. I am you know, honest. Uh, you're all a nice honest. guy. I can see that in you, and I'm happy to talk to you. If you have a son you. and he obey you, he's a good kid. He respect you. He never disobey you. Whatever you say, he do. Why yes, the father? Why the father will kill his son? Tell me. Why the father will kill his son? He should not kill his son. He should not. Unless this of father, course. he is the one, is evil and sick. Uh, but, but maybe uh, destroying, maybe it's just removing, you know, because God has a plan and he... Do, uh, sorry, I'm sorry, I don't know how to answer that. No, you see, of course, the, this is what, Lord, what, a, what a plan. The plan, you, you want me to commit sin? I thought the plan is to be good. I thought the plan that Allah, he wants us to be good. I thought the plan that's Allah He wants this, this, uh, the people who they live in this earth to be to be uh, obedience. But as you see, this God don't want obedience people. This God He want gang, He want killers, He want rapists, and then all what He care is asking for forgiveness. So this God is a sick, lonely God. Our friend, this is a mentality of a seeko. Your God Allah is a sick seeko, mental, satanic, evil. You don't kill the people for doing good. You don't replace them with evil ones who do wrong just because they are going to beg for you. Please forgive us. That is sick. So what Muhammad I'm, I'm is saying sorry. to us. Go ahead, Muhammad. Go. I'm sorry. Just want to ask you: Is it saying uh, killing, destroying, not just uh, removing and replacing? He's going to destroy you. Don't you see? He would sweep you out of existence. Ah uh, yes, but maybe it's in a, in a painless way so that he can Who do what about he wants. Painless in a way. So are are you saying to me if somebody he give his son some drugs and then he cut his throat, that is uh, make him a good guy? Ah uh, no no no. Yes. no. Who care about the painful way? What no painful way? The the word is so clear. He will sweep sweep you out of existence for what guilt? Shouldn't I do guilt to do that to me? There's no guilt. I obey you. I'm good. Of course, of course, I understand. Yes, what you're saying is logical, of course. So this man, Muhammad, yes, is presenting this man, person, my friend, my friend. For me, as I see yes. the one you call him a prophet, I see him mentally ill, sick person, and he is possessed by the devil, and he is trying to make us to obey the devil, because the only way I understand this, and there's no other way, that I'm you, sorry, why, why do you think it's the devil? There are good me, things. Let me show you what. Let me show you. No, there's no good things. There's no good things. What's our side bomber and killing and kidnapping? What a good, you know, Muhammad is a rapist, killer, thief. Even his own son, he went to the house and he flirted with the wife when the husband is not there. Sophia, he killed her father, her brother, her husband, and then he raped her less than 30 minutes after. What are good things? My friend, listen. When somebody says to you, if you commit sin, Yes. It is the way Allah will not destroy you. If you don't commit sin, Allah will sweep you out of existence. If you commit but sin, maybe, maybe. if you commit yes, sin, yes. listen, if you commit sin and ask for forgiveness, Allah will let you live. So what Muhammad is saying to us, you need to be satanic. You need to be a gang. You need to be a drug dealer. You need to, you need to be a thief. You need to be a criminal. Or what you need to do after all you do all those things just seek for forgiveness but never be a good person because if you don't commit sin Allah will sweep you out of existence so to live in the kingdom of this king Satan Allah you have to be a person who commits sin otherwise you are not qualified to live in his kingdom he will sweep you out because you are not committing sin so in order to be a member in the membership or to get a membership in the empire of the Satan, you have to commit sin and ask Satan for forgiveness because this is the only joy Satan, Oka Allah, he have. This is uh, your God. I, yes, well, yes, I understand that if you, uh, if you take it from the point of view of uh, Satan, uh, it works like that. I understand. I'm not taking it from understand. a point of me. You tell me any point you want. There's no other point. If you don't commit sin, I will kill you. As simple as that. But, how I can, but if it how was... I can stay alive? How I can stay alive? 
only if I commit sin and ask for forgiveness. There's a, there's a third option. But, but, but pious but pious people in Islam uh, are rewarded with the, the paradise. I, I, I don't think that there's no uh, bias. Necessary. He is saying to them, commit sin. What bias in Islam? There's no bias. This is very funny. If you're a prophet himself, he sleep around with women and he cheat. And then you say to me, bias in Islam, you know, forgiving sin is so easy. If you say Alhamdulillah 100 times, Allah forgive you sin. Is that true? Uh, I, I'm sorry, I never heard about uh, that. Yeah, so Muhammad, he made him, he, he encouraged you to commit sin, and then he made it and so easy, I... so easy to forgive oh, sin. I see, I understand what you mean. Yes, uh, you can, uh, you can be forgiven easily. I understand what you mean. Yes, yes, yeah. of course. Yeah, yes. so if you say but, 100 but you times, can... if you say time 100 times, Alhamdulillah, Allah forgive you sin. How stupid is that? So now I will go. I will go now. I will, I will rape, I will rape a woman. Listen, Muhammad, I, ha I have to go because it's time to rape some women. Uh, it's time to rape women and have time to do to sell drugs and time to kill some, uh, you know, maybe children. And then I will say Alhamdulillah 100 times and then Allah forgive my sin. How stupid is that? No, but you you can't be a, a hypocrite when you say it. You have to be, uh, you okay, have to believe but that. But this is hypocrisy. If I say 100 times, Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah, that make me good a good person now. Well, how come I was no, a good? No, no. How come I was not a good person when I raped the women? <laughs> no, of course, you you have to regret what you have done. You, God doesn't forgive uh, Muhammad, you just like I, that. I'm going to speak to you for five minutes more, and this is your chance to give me something right. You see, let me ask you: If somebody commit fornication, it was his choice to sleep around, or it was an, an enforced by Allah? Enforced by Allah. So why uh, yeah. why it's called fornication? Who is the real fornicator? Hmm. I understand. I understand what you mean. Who is the one who want people to do fornication? God or Satan? You should say Satan, right? Yes, of course. But you just said to me it's enforced by Allah. So Allah is Satan. Yeah. In, in in enforced we, we don't believe that it is enforced we we believe that it is written no, it's, that it's, Allah no it's enforced it because as long as it's written it's enforced can you go against it can you change the destiny of Allah can you uh, no you can't okay that's it so it's enforced so Allah enforces you to do a fornication and then he says don't do fornication who is the stupid here I understand. I understand what you mean. So, Muhammad, I invite you right now as we speak. I feel inside you that you are a good man. And you don't fit in this garbage. I invite you right now to leave Islam, my friend. I'm not going to uh, uh, to talk to you more because if all what I showed you is not enough for you to leave this garbage, I don't know what to do. I give up, you know. So I invite you right now. You are smarter than this. Uh, of course, of course, uh, of course, I understand what you mean. Uh, I... Uh, you know, I always tried in my life to be a humanist, to try to understand, uh, to have empathy with everyone. And I understand that someone from from outside, when he looks like this, it's very, uh, it can be not, not logical. So I understand. I, this, is not I understand logical. Which... this is not about logical, uh, Muhammad. This is about disgusting. This God, he is the one who made you fornicate. And then he is going to say, I will punish you for fornicating. Is he sick? What does he call this is not this is beyond logic this is madness this is stupid this is not about i understand where i coming from god yes he should be against something not the one who made you do it and then he will punish you for doing it that's not just what is the just yes so we are yes. talking about a, a, you someone you call him god but obviously he is not just and one of the uh, the most important thing about God to be just. If God cannot be, cannot be just, who is just then? Yes, God has to be just. So Allah course. is not a just. Do you agree with me? Uh, if 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 this is true, uh, yes. 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 What, what if this is true? It's in front of you. This is Sahih Muslim. Yes. Yes. So Allah is unjust. And as long as he is unjust, he is satanic. 
Yes, yes. You know, when when I read the hadith like this, I always tell myself that they never should have been there. Hadiths like this, because because they, I don't think that anyone can defend this. No one I, I exactly, and this is why, my friend, I'm happy for for you. I'm happy that you you are an honest man, and you agree that this is unjust and this is satanic. So you decide to leave Islam. You you know, but but. Uh, but, but uh, I, I, it's it's too sad if Islam it's is not true. You know what I mean? It's too no, sad. No, my because... friend, it is so too sad that we have such a garbage. Because of Islam, we have to stay three hours in the airport just to take off our shoes. It is so sad we have Islam. Because of Islam, we spend billions of dollars for security. It is so sad we have Islam because now you do not know who is going to attack you in the mall, and you have a sword in his hand, shouting Allahu Akbar. It is so sad of we course, have Islam of because of Islam now nobody is 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 uh, earth is uh, lost the peace. So my friend, Islam is sad. Islam is a sad. So I'm yes, happy yes. for you. I'm happy for you, Muhammad, that today you are leaving Islam. Yes, you know uh, when we when we are Muslims, it's. Uh, it's it's extremely difficult to say that you leave Islam. You you can't just say it like that. You know you are dead. afraid. You just did. No problem. You are, you, you are a brave. You are a brave man. Thank God. You are not like the rest. You are not a bitter. You are not a coward. You are uh, coming from a good family. You don't deserve to be there. Neither you, neither your family. Uh, yes, yes. That's what I wanted to tell you because uh, a lot of people. Uh, uh, when I see, when I look at my family, at my uh, the people I know, uh, I, I assure you that they are good people. They are they don't follow these things. You know what I mean? The, the majority of these things we my never friend, we friend. never heard. My about. friend, so you are saying to me there is Muslims who they are good Muslim don't follow Muhammad and that make them good. Will that even make it more ugly? Because now they are good because they don't follow Muhammad. Not because they are following Muhammad. If they follow Muhammad, they will not be good. But we believe that we follow, but that we follow no, the you teachings. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because simply, if you follow Muhammad, you do what Muhammad said. Take not Christian yes. and Jews as a friends. Beat your wife. Yes, I don't. I don't agree with that. Yes. You can force your wife to have sex with you. You can rape her. You can beat her. Yes. We don't do that. No one. No one does my that. My friend, you don't. I do, know my friend, Muhammad, you are coming from a good family. Maybe. You, and your father is a good man. He will not beat your mother. But because he's good, this is not because he's, a, he's not follow. If he follows Islam, he can beat your wife, his wife, and he can have four wives. Correct? Yes, yes, yes. So yes. not because Islam is good, make him not to do it. Islam give him the opportunity to do it, but he refused because he is a good man. Yes, yes, yes. So Muhammad, as long as you decide to leave Islam, I'm happy for you. What do you think about accepting the Messiah as your savior? Yeah, that, yes, that's the subject I wanted to talk to you about from the beginning because uh, we have this idea that uh, we should only worship one God and um, if it's a multiplicity, it, it doesn't really make it, uh, you know, that's in our heads. Uh, and, and I think that's why Islam gained so much popularity, you know, because uh, it's like... Uh, if it was 100% false, it wouldn't have uh, attracted so many people. I know that uh, no, my friend, it's my not friend. from conclusions. Islam does not get any publicity. Book. Islam is a, is a mockery. Islam is a joke. And if you see in the West, they say to you, Prophet Muhammad, that's because they don't want a problem with the terrorist. But Islam is not popular. Islam is is rejected everywhere. People, they laugh at Islam. People, people they, 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 they wish Islam does not exist. And Christianity is number one belief in the world. Islam is dying. Even Muhammad, he said, Islam is started as a small and will end as a small. That's what he said. And even he said, Islam will come back like a snake going inside a hole in Mecca. So Muhammad described Islam as a small and will go back as a small and as a snake specifically. And believing in one, one God, uh, uh, yes. this is uh, even more funny because the Quran says, if Allah want to take a partner, we will take it from ourselves. And the Muslim cannot explain that because simply that the, that destroyed the idea of Muslim believing in one God. Because if you want to take a wife or a son, 
We will take it from Laduna in Kunna Fa'ireen. We will take that from ourselves. So how Allah will take a partner from himself if he is one? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, is this in the, the, the Quran? This is in the Quran, chapter 21, verse number 17. Had we intended to take a pastime, i.e. a wife or a son, we could surely have taken it from us. Okay, now Allah talking about taking a partner. Okay. How it's from a partner him. from us if Allah is one? How is a partner from us if Allah is one? Uh, you, you told me uh, chapter uh, 21, verse 17. Verse 17, yes. <clears throat> okay. So the Muhammadan, they claim that Allah is one is a big fat lie. It's against the Quran. If Allah is one, then he cannot take partner from us. So how he, is he a one person? Or he is one a group of, of, of a creature? And what kind of God he want to take a wife? I never heard of such a God. Do the God of the Christians have a wife? No. In Arabic, the word lahu, lahu means women. If we like to take a woman, huh, we should surely take it from us. Taking it, it, from us. How many us Allah is? Uh, one. How then he us, he's us. And how he would take a partner <coughs> from us. Uh, okay. We undertaken to take a diversion. We would have taken it from what is with us. Okay. How not with us. Not with us. In, in, uh, laduna is our kind. You see, Ladun, like you are from the Ladun of your father, from the bloodline of your father, you know? This is what Ladun means. So, Ladunna, yes. Ladunna, it is the kind, the blood, the lineage, all together. So, when Allah, he claimed that he is one, as Muslim they claim, and then if you want to take a partner, he will take it from us. Okay, so this means that God can take partners from himself if he wanted to. That's what it means, Lord. But okay, let us stop here. So Allah will take a partner from from himself too. <laughs> so he's one. How oh, Allah will partner okay. with himself? Okay, okay. So if God wants to take a partner, he can. That's what it is saying. Okay, no, from us. You see, the problem is not only he can take a partner, he will take a partner from us. From himself. Where where it says himself, it says from us. In uh, Laduna, from yeah, us. Uh, Ah, you mean that uh, that uh, other beings exist? But they are the other beings, but they are the same as Allah. Otherwise, you don't say us. When I say, when you say us, I say who is there? You say us. Obviously, you don't mean the cat if she is with you, right? You mean other human with you, right? Uh, but, but isn't this a figure of speech? Like when the kings well, talk, they say well, no. But the, the because now he's talking about taking a partner. The, the partner cannot be himself because if it's himself. There's no partner. This is him. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. And my friend, the word here is a past time translated is lahu. Lahu is a woman, so it have to be a woman in gender. And it. She, this is why she is the partner. So how he Allah will take a partner from himself, and he is he a woman? And is like is your God Allah like a transgender? He is a male and female in the same time. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, ah, yes, I understand. So when the Muslim they say we believe in one God, this is a this is just a joke. And secondly, who cares if you believe in one God or not? He is a stupid God, as we prove. This God, he thinks the sun set in a muddy water. This God, he thinks that the sperm coming from the ribs of the women and the backbone of the man, and the sperm yes. became a dead blood. <laughs> So he is one, he is two, he is ten, who care? This is stupid, you know? So when you say to me, we have an attractive point that we worship one God, this is one of the stupid things, you, you know, you are trying to deceive yourself with. And we are the one okay. who worship, we are the, truly the one who worship one God, not you. Because, you see, when you say mm -hmm. multiplicity, we don't have multiplicity. All the Bible, all the Bible, from the beginning to the end, it says your God is one. 
from the first verse to the last verse. So when the Christian they say we 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 live in the Trinity, that is about God being be, you know he he is how he is. Uh, in three, we know we call them in like in Arabic we say opnum. In in English they use the word person, which is not really a good translation for that word. Uh, so the logos, or let us say uh, the essence of God, is exist in three ways or three person. So God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. If you say you cannot do that because you know this is not right, well this is God. You cannot tell God who come what he will be. Same time, you will see everything around us is based on number three. What is the water? H2O, correct? H2O, yes. Okay. What is the essence of life? Sun, air, water. Is that correct? Yes. If one of them is missing, we're dead. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, now let us let us uh, think about. Have you ever heard of something called the golden ratio? Uh, yes. Two to one uh, is, yes, the, is the sign of a beauty, signature of God. Everything in this earth, all the trees, everything is designed by number three. So. If you if you look around you, you will find everything is based in the signature of God. God, He have His finger, His signature, and everything. In the, he have His fingerprint. So, uh, when when a Muslim he tried to say that the Christianity does not make sense, uh, why? Because God is a three and one at the same time. Well, I thought God is Almighty, and when we say Almighty, nothing is impossible for God. Correct? No, of of, co of course. But, but no, not of course. That... Not of course. For, for if you, when you wear a Muslim, that is impossible. Why? Because Allah, as an example, He cannot have a son unless He have a girlfriend. Correct? From uh, the ayah that uh, you showed me. Yeah, Allah in the Quran He says, "How can Allah have a son if you don't have a girlfriend?" But you know that the God of the Christians He have a son, but you don't have a girlfriend. Yes. Okay. So for Allah, it is not possible to do the impossible. Because it's not possible for Allah to have a son unless he have a girlfriend. The God of the Christians, he do not need a girlfriend to have a son. Why? Because he is the almighty God. The God of Islam is just a manly God like me and you. I cannot have a son unless I have a woman. A woman, she cannot have a son unless she have a boyfriend or a husband. So. The God of Islam, when he spoke about himself, he, he gave us a great example of description of himself. He is the same as any of us. Without a female, he is useless. He cannot reproduce. He cannot have a children. He cannot regenerate. So Adam and Eve is more powerful than Allah. Why? Because one man, one woman, they can make a baby. Allah is a lonely guy. He cannot make babies. Why? Because he don't have a wife. So how is God? So everything in this Quran is doesn't make sense. It's just stupid. It's silly. So my friend, what do you think about accepting the Messiah as your savior? Uh, 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 can I ask you a question? About, sure, sure. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, thank you. Uh, the, uh, can anyone go? Can anyone uh, go to heaven even if he's not a uh, Christian or you no. you have to... no you have to be a follower of a Christ to believe in him Jesus the Messiah our Lord he says I am the way I am the door and no one can go to the Father but by me so in order to go to heaven even if you are a Jew even whoever you are you have to accept the Messiah and have, you have to be saved by him and you have to be born again Born again doesn't mean you go. we go inside our mother and we come back again. Born again means that we start a new life by becoming a new believers with the Messiah by the Spirit. So we deny the old pagan religion and already you did. So you are ready to go for, for, for the Messiah if you accept. And if you accept the Messiah from your heart, not because just you want to go to heaven, not because you want to get a benefit. We, we don't have virgins waiting for you. You know, this is not satanic cult. We don't course, have No, boys. no, I didn't ask the question about for me. I asked it for uh, everybody, uh, everybody, including people. me, including everybody, even 
even my father, even my mother, if they don't believe and they follow Jesus, they will not go to heaven. Even if they are but born a Christian, God even if they fine. are, listen, listen, Muhammad, even if they are born a Christian, even if they are born a Christian, even if they go to church, but they are not true Christians, they will not go to heaven. A person, it's why Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So in Christianity, we don't have someone, he says, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, 100 times, that said his son is forgiven. Muslims, they lie when they say, in Christianity, in the Muslim, the Christian believe that Jesus, he paid for their sins, so they can sin as much as they want. That's a lie. That's an absolute, super satanic lie. Absolutely a lie. When we say that Jesus, he paid for our sin, that's mean now we are ready to go to heaven if we follow Jesus. Not just by saying we believe in Jesus, we are in heaven already. That's why he says, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, but the one who do his will. So Muhammad, my friend, I want to say to you, you are my like my younger brother. I invite you right now as we speak to accept the Messiah so he can save your soul. Because my friend, you might go to sleep, you might never wake up. Me and you, we come to a conclusion that Muhammad is a satanic man. Me and you, we know and we believe in God. Don't you believe in God's existence, Muhammad? Yes, I, I, think, I think there is a God. Exactly. And if, if I ask you, you, you told me already that Jesus is amazing, powerful he is, correct? Yes. So what is missing about Jesus not to be God? He can resurrect people from death. That is God power. He can make the blind see. That is God power. He forgives sin. That's only God power. He is alive as we speak. That is God power. Yes. Jesus is not like me and you, my friend. Yes, he come in the flesh of a man. So God, because he loves us, he humbled himself. Man always wanted to see God. Where is this God who wants me to worship him? Why he don't love me and come to me and show me himself? I am the yes. poor man who need to see God so I can believe. I am limited. My eyes cannot see far. My ears cannot hear far. You know, I, my life is not long. Why does God don't come to me? Jesus did that. So when Jesus come to this earth, not because he is weak, but because he is strong. If God yes. cannot do what Jesus did, then God cannot be God. So my friend Muhammad, I invite you. In the name of the Messiah, to accept him to be your savior, so today you will be saved. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I know I took too much of your time, and I thank you for. Don't for... worry, don't worry. I want. I'm here trying to serve you, my friend. Thank you very much. I, I just want to tell you that um, I, I I saw the movie uh, The Passion of the Christ. Is it a good? Does it uh, reflect? Uh, I did not even watch that movie. I don't, me, myself, I don't watch movies to learn about Jesus. The Bible is my book. I don't have other resource. So to know about Jesus, my friend, we don't learn about him from movie. Movie is a movie. Oh, there course, are things. Of course, of course. No, no, no. I, I wanted to tell you that I, I saw that he, he's, a, he's a very good, uh, he, he's very kind. That, uh, that even after all the bad things that happened to him, he stayed very kind. And he wanted to save uh, all humanity. That, that's what Jesus in the cross, my friend, he says, forgive them, Father, they do not know what they are doing. He was not cursing and angry, and I want to kill you, and I want to show you what I can do. Just for me, wait for me, I'm coming back. Even when he was on the cross, he was yes. forgiving and merciful. Imagine if Jesus say, kill them for revenge for me. Do you know what the Christians would do to the Jews? We are almost three billion human beings. If Jesus says, kill whoever deny me, do you know what we can do? But Jesus, he cared for you, Muhammad. He cared for your family. Christians today is the most powerful nation when it's come to armies. Nobody can stop them. They can destroy everything. And I believe those countries, they would, they would destroy everything anyway. But here we have Jesus, the merciful, the loving. He don't want the Christians and the Muslims to hate each other. They would want us to kill each other. He ordered the Christians to love their enemies. So my friend Muhammad, I've been ordered by the Messiah to love you and your family. As my own family, even though you've been taught as a Muslim not to be a friend to the Christians. 
And this is the no, huge no, difference. I never, I, never I never believed that. You I don't believe believed because that. you're a good person, but the Quran order you, correct? Yeah, in in a way, uh, yes. I, I yeah, think, there is I no think. other way. The Quran, chapter 5, verse 51, take not Christians and Jews as a friends, specifically. So you've been ordered to, to be evil, but because you are a good person, you are coming from a good family, you do not believe in such a garbage. But for me, from the other side, I've been ordered to love the Muslims, even if they are not being just to me, even if they are unfair, even if they are killing us. And the love we present to you is to provide you the truth about Jesus so you can be saved. So when we invite you to be saved by Jesus, not because we hate you, but because the Messiah loved you before us. Yes. Yes, I know it's a very kind message, and I and I uh, and, and like you said, uh, we were brought up in uh, in liking kindness and trying to be kind. So anything kind, it 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 touches it touches me, and I understand that. So, what do you think about accepting the Messiah as your Lord? Uh, uh, I, I I really I really I really want to, uh, but I don't think that it would be a. Uh, you you know uh, you know when I saw when I uh, all my life when I see people entering Islam without learning about Islam I never liked it you know that when uh, when they accept it uh, directly I always wanted them to at least uh, learn about it. You, you well, know, Muhammad, so no, Muhammad, he don't care for this. Muhammad, he prefer if you do not know. The Quran says that clearly. Don't say we believe. Say we come. We become a Muslims, and you know that, right? So this is the nature of Islam. Islam do not want you to know because in chapter 5, verse 101, ask not questions. Why? Because if you ask questions, you would leave the faith. Okay. Uh, you know, the only problem uh, that I may have with Christianity and it's the same I know it's the same with Islam I know that it's the same it's I, I believe that uh, you you know I I think I understood I understood the kindness of Jesus I really I really believe that I understood it but I I, I don't I, when someone is kind I don't think that uh, that he will send all all the non-believers in hell. You know what I mean? No, my uh, friend. Because he is kind, he will send you. He will send them to hell. Let me uh, let me explain to you why. This person, he is so kind to the point he come to this earth. He cry out to save you. He die in the cross. He been tortured. He been called names. Just to tell you, I'm coming to save you. And then, Muhammad, he refused to accept him as a savior. So it is not him who decided to go to hell for you. It is you who chose to go to hell. Because it's you who refuse to be saved. So don't blame the Messiah for not being kind. It is you who is not being kind to himself. So when the day of hell will come, and you say, this is not nice. Well, he said, was it nice uh, when no, I came I to you? I, I, uh, I assure you, I don't care about about me. Uh, I, I always believe that uh, that I may go to hell, and it's not a problem for me. It's the kind people that uh, that the, the I find it sad that kind people may go to hell. You know, I I, I assure you that I'm not my thinking friend, about my friend. The, the, kind, the kind people it doesn't matter how kind you are, because the the kind is is evil. The kind of a man is evil. Because even when we are kind, we commit sin. None of us is a clean, like a clear water. Even clear water full of bacteria. So when a human being, he play the victim or he play that he is so kind. But in reality, we are not. We commit sin and we do sin and we live with sin. And later, we claim that we are the good ones who is walking like angels in this earth. But in reality, we are not. So God is not judging kind people. We are not. We are always committing sin, non-stop. And the best of us is not even clean. So when God will judge you, he will judge you for rejecting him. He will judge you for what you did. He will not judge you for being kind, which means he will not punish you because you were good. He will punish you for you being bad. So don't worry about the just of God. God is just. As an example, 
if somebody never heard of Jesus, let us say he lived in the, jung the jungle of Amazon. He never heard of the yeah. Bible. He never heard of Jesus. Is that fair? He will go to hell? Well, no, God, he will it's, not. The same thing in, 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 it's the same thing in Islam. That's no. when he doesn't hear no. about it. No, 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 no. You see, you do not know much about your religion. Uh, in, in, only in Christianity. If you never heard of, uh, uh, you know, when you say something to me, Muhammad, let, uh, show me a reference. Otherwise, this is not true. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I know. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not in yeah. uh, expert so, at in, all. It, so it's what if we you were... do not, if you do not get, you see, we just to prove that Allah is unjust. Me and you, we agree that Allah is unjust, and you, this is why you left Islam, right? So suddenly Allah is just again. He cannot be. He can't be just and unjust at the same time. Either you are just or unjust. And as long as you believe in destiny, that's mean if somebody don't. Heard he never heard of Islam. Allah did not make him hear of Islam. You know, Islam is a city. Okay. Islam is a city religion based on this because Allah did not make me hear about Islam. What? Well, how stupid is that? You know. So uh, God will judge you based on your knowledge. And now you, as an as a Muhammad who spoke to me, and you know about Christ, you know about the Bible. So if you refuse the Bible, then you are really challenging God or you rejected God you are not the same as a person who live in the jungle in the middle of nowhere you never heard of the Messiah and you live as a human being whatever God he gave you little knowledge in your heart and you are not so I asked you already twice to say I said to you accept the Messiah look like you are not ready and this is your choice but I say to you time will come and your soul will be taken from you. Your soul, your body, it is not yours. Everything you have will be taken from you. And then after your soul will be taken from you, you cannot repent. And there's no return. So my friend Muhammad, I give up. But I don't give up. I give up on you as a human. But I pray to the Lord to open your heart and to make you accept him as Lord and Savior. I pray for that. But as long... I just want what what can I read to know more about Christianity, please? Go uh, go. You know you can read. Start from the book of John, book of John, the Gospel of John, and read about uh, about uh, the Messiah from the book of John. But try to read and to live the words. Try to read and to live the story, not just to read. Try to be filled with the love of the book, so you can understand the book. Okay, and then I read the three others. Gosh, when God, you finish God. the first one, you can read there. But the first one alone will make you a different person. I guarantee you that. Okay, Th thank you very much for your, for your time. You're thank welcome, you Muhammad. I'm so happy that you decided to leave Islam at least. And you are a step closer to accept the Messiah. And I hope soon I will hear from you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. God bless. You too. Thank you.